Welcome back to AG Chelsea TV. This is a YouTube channel for news, stories, and analysis surrounding Chelsea Football Club. I will update new video every day. Like, subscribe and turn on notifications to support me. Chelsea could sign Victor Osimhen next year. Chelsea are now the favourites to beat Arsenal in the race to sign Napoli's Victor Osimhen. That is according to a report from Football Transfers. They claim that Chelsea are considered the frontrunners to sign Victor Osimhen, 24, next summer. The Daily Mail reported in June that Napoli view Osimhen as a pound 150 million rated striker. The Italian champions did manage to keep hold of the frontman, who's already started the new season with three goals in three Serie A games. He's emerged as one of the most exciting forwards in the world during recent years, scoring 62 goals in 104 Napoli appearances during his rise in Italy. This is the type of marquee signing that we think every Chelsea supporter would fall in love with. It's no surprise to hear it may take an astronomical fee to sign the Nigerian striker, but he looks tailor-made to score a lot of goals in the Premier League. There's been some costly and sizable mistakes when it comes to transfers under this current ownership at Stamford Bridge. We think Osman is one of the rare occasions where it may be worth digging deep into your pocket for cash, though. Mutinous Lukaku stopped Man City signing moving to Chelsea. Romelu Lukaku appears to have burned his bridges at Chelsea, and he's seemingly been intent on taking others with him. That's after details emerged regarding the Belgian's hand in steering compatriot Jeremy Doku away from West London while he was still on the books at Anderlecht. Lukaku came through the ranks in Brussels himself before moving to Stamford Bridge in 2011, but he spent much of that first stint with the Blues impressing on loan at West Brom and Everton. He eventually joined the Toffees on permanent terms in 2014, and it was some time after that when Doku who joined Premier League rivals Manchester City this summer, was attracting Chelsea's eye. However, Anderlecht Academy director Jean Kindermans recalled how intervention from Lukaku prevented the then 15-year-old from moving. I remember taking Romelu into my office about the problem of getting young players to commit to us, Doku in particular, Kindermans told the Sunday Mirror. Romelu replied, come on, pass your phone to me, I'm going to call him but I didn't want to do that because a phone call gets quickly forgotten. So, instead, I got Romelu to convince Jeremy to stay. I still have the video on my phone. On it, you can hear Romelu giving advice to the Doku family, saying, hey, guys, stay with Anderlecht for a while, you're good, and so on, whether that call was made out of love for his old academy or scorn for Chelsea. It resulted in Doku remaining loyal to Anderlecht. The winger eventually moved to French outfit Rennes in 2020 before joining Pep Guardiola's ranks in a £55.4 million move last month. The timing of the call places Lukaku either at the end of his Everton days or just starting out with Manchester United at the time. Regardless, his words apparently had the desired effect in convincing Doku his interests were better served by not moving to West London at the time. Moises Caicedo injured in training. Chelsea midfielder Moises Caicedo has been spotted wearing support for his knee during training with Ecuador over the international break. Caicedo, who has played three times for the Blues since his record-breaking move from Brighton over the summer, has had a mixed start at his new club. The 21-year-old gave away a penalty on his debut in a horror show away at West Ham before he looked composed and anchored the side during the win over Luton one week later. Despite showing composure and some nice touches against Nottingham Forest, it was his mistake and understanding error with Conor Gallagher that led to Anthony Ilanga's deciding goal. Now, with two weeks away on duty for his country, Caicedo has been back in action, alongside former Brighton teammate Pevis Estupanen. Caicedo was part of the squad that pushed Lionel Messi and Argentina close in the opening round of matches in the South American 2026 World Cup qualifying group. They are next up in a more favourable clash with Uruguay on Tuesday night, in images posted by the country's national team social media account though, Caicedo can be seen with strapping on his right knee during training. There was no sign of the strapping during the game against Argentina, but he was involved in some meaty challenges including one on Messi himself that proved just why he is so highly rated. His participation in the next fixture may well give a bigger update to fans, though being in training alone may well indicate that this is precautionary. Caicedo has not been pictured with any sort of knee support in previous images from training at Chelsea either and doesn't have a record of struggling with the area. His injury record in general is excellent for someone with such strong physical attributes, not missing a game for Brighton outside of an illness in 2022. During his time at Independiente del Vale in his homeland he only missed seven games with one muscular issue as well. 
Mauricio Pochettino will be hopeful of having him return to Cobham in near-peak condition as he looks to overturn an indifferent start to the season at Chelsea. Caicedo, who had been expected to partner Enzo Fernandez and Romeo Lavia in midfield, will now have a heightened role in plans after further injury issues in the squad. Lavia, who Chelsea signed just days after confirming the addition of Caicedo, is set to miss six weeks following an ankle knock picked up in training during the international break and won't be able to partner his new teammate until November at the earliest. Chelsea legend rates Mauricio Pochettino. Pochettino has won just one of his first four Premier League games in charge of Chelsea, suffering defeats to West Ham and Nottingham Forest in that time. It is unquestionably a very difficult job he has on his hands at Stamford Bridge after a disastrous season last time round and the huge turnover of players over the last year. However, Terry feels that if the former Spurs man is given the time to turn things around then he will, rating the Argentine. Extremely highly as a manager, I love Poc, I've met him a couple of times and had the privilege to be around him at the training ground, Terry told TalkSport, he works the players very hard. Tactically amazing. I think, given time, he's definitely the right man for the job, Man City are running away with it at the moment, so it's everyone else behind them. We've got a lot of young players that need a little bit of time, patience is going to be needed from the supporters and from everyone. We've had a good 20-year run and hopefully those good times will be back, Terry is not expecting miracles in his first season in charge, but still thinks Pochettino can improve things rapidly, he will turn it round quickly, said Terry. We've seen that over the years with him, his experience and what he's done previously, we are a young squad, they've literally all been thrown together this year. There's a lot of talent there, we've had a few injuries not go our way, loads of football to be played this season, but hopefully exciting stuff. This year is more of a blending together and we'll see where we go next season, Chelsea will look to get back to winning ways after the international break when they go to Bournemouth on Sunday the 17th of September. And that's the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.